Miss Alexia seemed to have taken a serious effect on Birkin, as he continued the rash experiments throughout the following seasons and did not seem to get any better. To protect the valuable test subjects from his violence, I needed to find a way to get Bergen to change focus on something else. These are the viral sample lists. This would cover all of them. Hmm. You. Your name is Annette, am I right? I see. You are cute. Do you have a boyfriend? No. That's perfect. Then I'd like for you to date sometime soon. Huh? With William. Not with me, silly. I found out that he seems to like you, but he's a rather shy fellow, and he seems to be worrying his heart over you. So let me be frank with you. You're driving Bergen nuts. I really don't like to butt into other privacies, but now, since I supervise his labs and they seem to be going badly, I can't help but confess. Your charm that seems to screw with him is a biohazard. Really, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. So, dear, I would like you to take responsibility. This is an order. You can start with lunch, of course. But don't tell him that I told you, all right? We all know how prideful he is. Um, Professor Birkin? Would... Would you like to have lunch with me? Even if it's only a Mac? I have fries, too. Good work, Annette. After dealing with only dead and rotting zombies, having a living, healthy woman in his life should give Bergen a new spark of interest. To top it off, she works in a place like this. She can't be a normal woman. Similar ones should be friendly with each other.